arts has always been an essential part of who we are. Roots of early arts are traced way back before and can be found at caves and stones. Some of them are hand painted. Hello grade 9 students! It is another artistic day waiting for us. Are you excited for a colorful discussion today? Great! I am Sir Russell, your arts teacher, and I will be your guide for today's lesson. And you are watching Deped MP TV. Make sure you have your notebook, your pen, and your self-learning module. But before we proceed, here are the target learning competencies in this lesson. 1. Analyzes art elements, principles, and identifies distinct characteristics in the production of arts following the style of Western and classical arts. 2. Discusses the use and function of artwork by evaluating their utilization and combination of art elements and principles. 3. Compares the characteristic of artworks produced in the different art periods and uses artworks to derive traditions or history of an art. Sit back, relax, and fasten your seatbelts as we begin our virtual time travel. But make sure to take down important details as we travel back from the past and discover amazing facts about the paintings of the early age. Let's start our tour, and at the end of our trip, you need to pass activities tasks for you. Paintings from the prehistoric era has been observed inside the caves, which can also have been their way of speaking with one another. It can be non-secular or ceremonial purposes. Meanwhile, prehistoric era includes all human existence before the emergence of writing. Their art is of interest not only to the art historians but also to archaeologists and anthropologists for whom the art is only one clue along with fossils, pollens, and other finds to an understanding of early human life and culture. Their paintings may also be for religious or ceremonial purposes. These paintings may be more an artifact of the archaeological evidence than a true picture of humans first created art. Prehistoric drawings of animals was usually correct in proportion. The dominant features in the painting were large animals native in the region. Paintings from Ancient Egypt The purpose of Egyptian painting is to make the deceased afterlife place pleasant. With this in mind, Themes include journey to the underworld, introducing the deceased to the gods of the underworld by their protective deities. Paintings from the ancient Egypt have been popular for magnification to make the deceased afterlife look pleasant. It emphasizes the importance of life after death and the preservation of the knowledge of the past. Most paintings were highly stylized, symbolic, and shows profile view of an animal or a person. The main colors used were red, black, blue, gold, and green, taken derived from mineral pigments that can withstand strong sunlight without fading. Let's talk about paintings from the Classical Greek era. Paintings during the Classical Greek era were most commonly found in vases, panels, and tombs. It depicts natural figures with dynamic compositions. Most of the subjects were battle scenes, mythological figures, and everyday scenes. It reveals a grasp of linear perspective and naturalist representation. Most common methods of Greek painting Number 1. Fresco It is a method of painting Water-based pigments on a freshly applied plaster, usually on a wall surface. Colors are made with grind powder pigments in pure water, dry and set with a plaster to become a permanent part of the wall. Ideal for murals, durable, and has a matte style. Number two, encaustic. 
developed to use by Greek ship builders who used the hot wax to fill the cracks of the ship. Soon, pigments or colors was added and used to paint a wax hull. Kirch type, also referred to as Kirch vases, a red figured pottery named after the place where it was found. Shapes commonly found are 1. Pellite or wine container 2. Lecanis, a low bowl with two horizontal handles and a low broom foot 3. Levis Domicus, with high handles and lid used to carry bridal bag and 4. Crater, a bowl used for mixing wine and water Panel Painting there are paintings on the flat panel of wood. It can be either a small, single piece or several panels joined together. Most of the panel paintings no longer exist because of its organic composition. The earliest known panel painting is the pizza panel from the archaic period between 540 and 530 BCE. Mosaic. It is an art process where an image is created using an assemblage of small pieces of colored glass, stones, or other materials. This technique used for decorative art or interior decorations. After the emergence of the classical era, here comes now the Roman era. Most of the artwork in this technological know-how have been copied or imitated from Hellenic Greek paintings. Fresco strategy was once used in brightly colored background, division of the wall into a couple of rectangular areas called tic-tac-toe design, multi-point perspective, and a trompe effect. Paintings from the medieval era Byzantine painting The lively styles of paintings which had been invented in Greek and Rome live in the Byzantine but this time for Christian subjects. By the 11th century, the Greek and Oriental styles seem to blend together in magnificent, imposing images which adorn and searches in large and small forms. Romanesque painting. These are largely placed mosaics on the walls of the churches that follow the street from Calpose. It has remarkable variety of artistic traditions such as modeling and treatment of faces and draperies that follows Byzantine convention while the refreshingly decorative feeling comes from the Southern French style. It also shows traces of Mozarabic influence as Arabized influence through elongated oval faces, large staring eyes, and long noses, figures against flat colored bands and heavy outlining. Paintings from the Gothic era Paintings have been confined in the illumination of manuscript pages and the painting of frescoes on the walls of churches in cosmopolitan style, elegant, modern, and sophisticated. Now, to summarize what you have learned about the lesson, let's answer this activity. Good luck! Congratulations, learners, for joining me on this virtual time travel. See you in the next episode as we talk about sculpture and architecture of the early age. I am Teacher Russell saying, Art is not what you say, but what you make others say. Have a good day. Goodbye.